Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I literally just finished filming my Valentine's Day makeup look. I just took all the hearts off. And to find out that I have my Jeffree Star mystery box in the post and I wanted to do a video on this, but I was like, I have to do a video now because this needs to be opened like I'm so excited to see what's inside of here so I thought I'd open it with you guys and make a video of it and I'm so bloody excited <laughs> so I got the Valentine's Deluxe mystery box so this one was the most expensive one this was so hard to get hold of I was literally on the website like 10 times I had 10 tabs open and it kept getting stuck at like that shipping page but I finally got it and I'm so excited I've seen some of the things that people got in there so I hope it's good and let's see if I can open this when I open it this is what's inside just paper I'm glad that he wrapped it with paper because some people's I've seen have been broken so I'm honestly hoping that none of my stuff is broken because I'm actually going to be gutted okay let's see what's in here Okay, when I open the box, the first thing I see is the long lasting extreme beauty matte finish cruelty free vegan. What is this? This is a lip. I think this is a lip pencil in. God, I can't even say that. Domatrix? Domatrix? I think. So let's open this bad boy. I've seen the lip liners, like I watched his video and like the um, design of it. It's so cool. So I'm so stoked that I could get hold of one because I wasn't going to buy them, to be honest. But if it's in the mystery box, like, yeah. Like how bougie and cute is this? Like I love the, the top and the lip liner. And I think this is just a brown oh they're so soft and creamy though so this is just a dark brown but of course you can use these on the eyes I'm pretty sure oh like honestly those are so creamy I'm not really a fan of these MAC ones they're so hard to get on I'm over it but this is super creamy these are like the Kylie Cosmetics I love those ones so I'm so excited for that next thing I see in the box is I think this is a velour liquid lipstick in crocodile tears oh this is the green one I'm sorry mate but who's gonna wear green not me this will probably be going on my eyes but this is the color doesn't smell of anything really and this is the shade I don't know if anyone would really wear that on their lips but honestly for eyeshadow and who knows doing some creative looks so maybe I will the next thing I see is a pop socket honestly love that for me love that I have one and I lost it for me that is for sure going up on my phone I'm so excited so the next thing I have is uh, another liquid lipstick in doll parts. Oh, this one's pink. Yay. I'm so happy that this one is a lot more wearable than the green. But, oh my god. This one? This looks stunning. Okay, yes. I'm so happy. This is right up my alley. So this one is doll parts. How cute. They like nearly match my nails. Oh my god. Yay. I'm so happy with that one. The next one is a velour liquid lipstick in self-control. Oh, this looks like a purplish color, which my favorite color. So I'm actually digging that. I'm glad that they're like a little bit more wearable this time. This is cute. Because I heard on the last mystery boxes that they weren't that wearable. I'm just hoping this one won't wash me out with my skin tone. But this is so pretty. And this will be so cute on the eyes as well. So I'm so... And it's a lip ammunition, which is awesome. I actually don't own any lip ammunitions. I only own the 
liquid lipsticks. And the bottles always look so cute when he posts his YouTube videos. So I'm so excited. And this is in Gargoyle. Gargoyle? That reminds me of uh, Riverdale. Gargoyle King. So um, I mean, come on. Do you see that packaging? Oh my god. Oh, interesting. This is like a gray. Yeah, this is like a gray. This is so cute though. This is Gargo. I'm just honestly obsessed with the packaging. Like, can you not? How bloody cute is this? The next one is the Supreme Frost, and I'm so bloody excited because I've always wanted one of these. My favourite highlight from him is from the just regular skin frost in ice cold and that shit is blinding. So holy shit, I'm so excited for this. I saw his YouTube video and I was like, oh my god, I need the whole collection. Like bye. Like God, I'm so excited. How bloody cute is this the packaging is so up my alley and these i heard a blinding so i'm so down for this so it's kind of not that blinding actually it's just i i don't know if you can even see it it's just a gold but i think on the cheeks it will be cute so yeah i'm excited for that one The next one is a Skin Frost in Regina George. I saw so many people get this. And honestly, I don't think this is going to be a highlighter for me. This is bright pink. But you know what? I'm thinking this is going to be an eyeshadow shade. I can't even bloody open it. Are you joking me? Where's my knife? It's in Re Regina George, which is like so iconic. And honestly, I just love the size of the pans like like I have ice cold and I've had this for so long and to be honest I have not even hit pan so this is gonna last forever because I don't think this is the highlighter for me this is super cute and this will be again good for pink eyeshadow and we'll see oh it's not that blinding so this could actually be a pretty pink highlighter but i'm gonna have to play around with it and we'll see this thing in the box is a t-shirt and i'm pretty sure this is the cannot relate one god i'm gonna be wearing this all the time because i cannot relate to half of the stuff but i love this color this is so pretty with my hair i'm glad it's not a crazy color and how stunning is this this looks huge i got size medium but i feel like i should have for sure got small because this is huge but this can be a cute outfit with a it could be like a dress outfit with some shoes or some heels and the back just has a jeffree star logo and this is the front that's all the stuff i have in the mystery box i'm actually i'm happy with most of it some of these shades, like, I don't think I will be wearing a lot, but I'm so happy with these wearable ones. The lip liner, I'm so excited to try because it just felt so smooth and creamy. The highlighter, we'll see. I don't think I could pull off a pink, but for eyeshadow, I'm sure it'd be beautiful. This Supreme Skin Frost, I'm actually so excited. It wasn't that blinding when I swatched it, but you never know on the face. So I'm so excited. You can't judge by swatches. And the pop socket, I'm so stoked for this. This is going to be on my phone. And yeah, that's everything I got in the mystery box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got the mystery box, please let me know what you got and comment down below. I want to know if everyone got the same thing or if there was different things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.